Hi, welcome to this next episode in the survival series for Unreal Engine 4. In this episode we'll be fixing a few things that are actually broken. Um, I didn't realise at the time, but they're an easy fix. So the things that's broken is actually damaging the player and resetting the time between attacks for the enemy. So they're very simple fixes. The first thing we can do is go to our library folder and our player library file. And in that you'll find our take damage function. And the thing that's broken here is that when the player takes damage, we're not actually setting the new health. So we're telling the player to take some damage and then doing nothing with it. So the player will always return back to the health they had before we called take damage. So to fix that, we're going to just drag off as first person character and set health. And set our health to the new health value. Now the player can be damaged, that's all that needs to be done there. Next we will go to our enemy and then our enemy attack class. And in the enemy attack class this needs rejigging just a little. So we're going to check we can attack and this as you can see checks if we can attack and then returns that as a node. And then when we turn back to check a player where it's called from, we're then setting if the actor was the player as this which is wrong. So what we need to do is break the link between these two and we need to return a new value called attacked and we want to return whatever this can attack value was and this actor was player will return as true as this is called from the cast the first person character. So if we follow that through it will check if we can attack. If we can attack then we attack the player and we say we can attack and we can actually rename this to attacked. So then we're returning if we attacked or not and saying if we attacked or not. So we can go back to our enemy character and we've got these new values attacked. So we're going to need a branch at the end of this statement, which is the checking on every frame. And we're going to want a branch statement that checks if we attacked and if we did attack, set our attack time back to zero. If we didn't attack, don't do anything. And the same on this one, because we're checking if it's the player and then we're setting our states, because if it is the player, we want to still be in that attacking state so we can attack the player, even if we didn't already attack them. But if we did attack them, then we want to reset the time between our attack time. So I'm going to do this before setting our state. So I'm going to check if I already attacked. If I did, that's a get, set attack time to zero. If I didn't, then just carry on with setting our states. So now in my player library, that's my enemy library, player library, I'm going to just output, I'm going to print string, sorry, and the string I'm going to print is our new player health. Compile and play, I'm walking to the enemy's radius, as you can see we're getting 60, 20, minus 20, minus 60 because we've not set a limit. So let's go to our player health class. If our player's health is less than or equal to zero, call death as we want the player to effectively die and then we want to set our new health as zero. So if this is true, we're going to want a local variable called new h for new health. this is false we'll set this to whatever this is or we can even actually do this beforehand which is probably better off set this beforehand check if it's less than or equal to zero if it is we call death and we'll set new h to zero so we don't go into the minuses otherwise just return that new health so we'll get this and we'll return that and then we can just delete these nodes so now when we're in the radius of our enemy, we'll go 60, 20, and it should just go 0, 0, 0, and it's not changing. Okay, so there we've easily and quickly fixed the damage and attack time delay that was kind of broken, and now our player can actually interact with the enemy and damage themselves and the enemy. In the next episode, we'll be creating a 
user interface that shows and outputs the current health that the player has, and we'll be looking at updating that using widgets and casting to our player. So hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, a dislike if you didn't. If you, ha if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or advice, just leave it in the comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks, guys. Bye.